everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are testing the Krylon Lacquer as a sealer for acrylic pore paintings. Um, this is fast drying, ultra hard factory like glo glass, no, gloss finish. So you can use it on wood, metal, wicker, glass, plaster, and ceramics. Ideal condition is outdoors or in a well ventilated area. Use when the air and surface temperatures are 50 to 85 degrees and humidity is below 85 uh, percent. It gives you the preparations if you're scraping old paint. For painting, um, shape the can for one to two minutes. Test an area. We're not going to do that. We're going to test the whole painting. <laughs> um, hold the can 10 to 12 inches from the surface. Spray in sweeping motions from side to side with slight overlap. Apply thin coats to avoid runs and drips. Um, dries to the touch in 15 minutes or less. Handle after one hour. Recoat anytime. So we're going to do these two paintings. And this is the fourth out of, well, four, obviously, <laughs> uh, sealers that we are testing this week. And so tomorrow I will show you all of them side by side to see how they compare. Um, so yeah, let's see how this one does. I already cleaned these with a baby wipe. I have no idea what that was, but we scratched it off. Let's see how this goes. It is a bit windy, so hopefully that doesn't impact us too much. Even, but that's why we do two to four coats so I'll come back in 15 minutes and spray this way and then I'll look at it in the sun like hold it up see how it's reflecting if there's any bare areas if it looks perfect then we're done after two coats if I feel like it needs more then I'll do another coat this way and then another coat this way I always try to keep it in twos for absolutely no particular reason just the way I like to do it <laughs> um, but if you do three and you think it's good then you're good to go so I will do that until I like it, and then once it's completely dry, we'll come back and see how it looks. I don't know why I just told you all that, because one second, we got another painting to do. All that will apply to this painting as well. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat myself at the end, but we're going to go ahead and do this one as well. And then just to show you, if you haven't seen some of the other previous videos on how I do this, I use a picnic tent or a food tent, and then I just get like a bottle of water or something to weigh it down so it doesn't blow away in the wind. If it's not windy where you are, you don't need this step. <laughs> but this is just to prevent any bugs or dust or dirt or anything to, from flying into it while it's drying. So we'll be back after it's done drying and see what it looks like. See you in a minute. All right, we are back and here is how the spray sealers did. These are completely dry. Let me just do kind of a broad. It definitely brought out their shine, made it shiny, brought out those colors. Do you see like how vibrant these are? They were definitely vibrant against the white without it being sealed, but after the sealer, it's just absolutely incredible. And then this one, this one has that, I think that's the Deco Art, um, uh, what's it called? Sapphire Extreme Sheen. And oh my gosh, after it was sealed, it just like shimmers so much. It is, the camera doesn't do it any justice. It is so shimmery. I love it. So you can see how the the light reflects off of that one. Definitely um, works. And this is with the Krylon Lacquer Spray. Um, I like it. 
yeah, I really like it. Um, I don't know if it'll be my favorite from this week necessarily. We'll have to do the side-by-side -side comparison to see which one's going to be my absolute favorite. But I definitely don't, ha I don't hate it like some of the other ones I've used in the past. Um, it's decent quality. Uh, it's good quality. I wouldn't even say decent. It's good quality compared to some others. Um, I've used some that I won't use <laughs> to seal paintings just because I don't like the way that it, um, the shine. I want mine like super crazy glossy. Um, and this one provides a good gloss. Um, if that's what you're going for. Let me know what you think of this sealer in the comments below. Um, and then tune in tomorrow to see the comparison, how they all compare against each other. I'll compare each um, painting side by side. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And it makes you happy.